everybody good morning welcome back to my channel or good evening or good afternoon whatever time it is sorry digressing again welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well uh, if you're new here thank you i hope you like what you see um, if you're a subscriber already then welcome back you're very welcome uh, it's lovely to see you again and I just want to say um, thank you for subscribing to the channel. It's really starting to build up a bit. Um, please keep subscribing. There's lots and lots more to come. Uh, I don't know what it will be but I'm sure there will be lots more to come. So um, yeah, I've got today for you, I've got another haul and it's actually a Cherries haul. Um, I've never... Um, bought anything from cherries before so this is a first for me um so i've opened the box um it came yesterday so i've just opened it this morning to see what i've got i wouldn't say it's a great big haul um because it's my first one i just wanted to see what what the the items and what the stuff would be like and that you know just um so if it's really good and i'll order again so i haven't really looked at anything yet i've just opened the box oh that's what i forgot before i start I'll need to get the prices for you. And I should have got this first. I'm always like this. I'm never ready. Never ready. Um, let's see if I've got it here. Yeah. Right. So here we are. I'll be able to show you the prices. I'll tell you the prices, sorry. Right. Now, the thing is, I'll not be able to... Oh, I might be able to find them sort of as I go along. But it might be... Um, might go haywire again as like it normally does if you're used to me by now with trying to find prices and coughing and things like that then you'll know what i'm like right i'm going to without further ado i'm going to get started so the first item that i ordered on my list was mighty blast drain sticks there's 12 in a pack and this was a pound um I've never had these before, but I'm always thinking, you know, sometimes you feel as if you've got like a blocked drain. It keeps your pipes clear and odour free, it says. Uh, monthly treatments for free, for free flowing drains. So there's 12 sticks and it says one per month. So you must have to put it down per month. So it says, um, oh, it's for sinks, baths and showers. So that's good. Um, clean drains, clean drain thoroughly before first use of this product. Drop one drain stick down the plug hole, wash hands thoroughly after handling this product and replace every month. So we'll see how these go. So that's these. So these are called Mighty Blast Drain Sticks and there's 12 in that. So it's if, so you have to use that every month. So, well, obviously I've got like the bath, the sink and the toilet. So I've got three. So I could do that Well, that would be one two three oh that'd be about four like four months or something is that right yeah or something like that so anyway there we go oh my phone's closed as well with the prices um these as i said were a pound um the next lot i got were oh gosh oh please don't shout at me i know i know you what you're thinking is she on a diet or is she not i am on a diet i really am on a diet i'm doing well actually on it but the thing is, I do have, like, probably everybody that's on a diet, um, the sweet tooth, um, and it can't be helped, you know. I mean, I do like savoury um, stuff. I must admit, but crisps, I have to sort of limit myself to these. So anyway, I've got a few packets to these, so I'm not I'm, Oh, these are not the, the raspberry ones, but wait a minute. I'd, oh, wait a minute, is this from... Oh, gosh, I think this is in here. Oh, that says strawberry. Now... I have no idea what I'm looking for in here. They're all about the same price anyway. I don't know. But it says strawberry, but... Right. Anyway, I got two of these. So I'll show you these. I've got two of these again, which are... It says raspberry, but I don't think I've got raspberry. It says strawberry. I mean, they prob I probably asked for raspberry and they've sent strawberry. Whatever. Anyway, two pound. A pound each for these. I absolutely love them. Just one, and it just gives you that... Um, you know, like that sweet craving just to take it away. And I got these ones as well. These were two pounds. Oh, this is the raspberry one. That's my, uh, that's them. I was wondering, I thought they were like something else. Anyway, that's it, raspberry. So these are a kind of different one from them. And these were a pound each as well. So these are two pounds for the two. 
Uh, I got some, let me see, let's go to these now. Oh gosh, gosh, here we are. I needed some food bags. So these are 400 food and freezer bags. These are handy for, you know, well obviously you'll know if you use freezer bags, but what I use them for as well is, um, you know, if you've got like a packet in the freezer or something, like maybe you've got fish cakes or something and you've only got about two in the box or something, instead of having the box, leaving the box, taking up room, just put them into one of these bags and just mark on it. Obviously you can see what it is, but you know, but, and they're handy for that. That's what I use them for. And just, you know, like oh, any use, I suppose, whatever you use them for. Uh, these were a pound. That's not too bad. 400 for a pound. They might be pretty thin though. But um, we'll soon see. They're handy. They're coming useful. Uh, oh, I got these. I must tell you about these. And now, I used to see when I was young, I used to love these. My mum used to buy these biscuits all the time, but they were actually square ones. If anybody remember these, remembers these biscuits, you'll know they're called lemon puffs. Oh my goodness. Honestly, these I've not had these biscuits for years. Traditional puff pastry biscuits sandwiched with a light lemon flavour cream filling. Oh, I used to love these biscuits. These were my favourite biscuits when I was young. And I can remember having them with my mum and having a cup of tea with her. And, oh, just, it'll bring back memories. These were, uh, you know how much these were? I wish I'd got a couple of packets now. 60 pence. That's all they were. And I, I can never really find these in the shops. I think the only place I've ever seen them, and I've, I've always bypassed them, I think is Home Bargains. I'm sure Home Bargains has got them. I might get them the next time. Um, and I got some of these which I've had before. Um, great, great, great. Uh, if you've had them, there. Are, this is Elbow Grease Power Cloths. These are really good. I like these and they've got like the little grooves on them, like little lumpy bits, as I call them. Um, these are non-scratch, super absorbent, the only cloth you'll ever need. It's called with scrub dots. And uh, if you use any of the, <coughs> there I go, without fail, if you use any of the elbow grease products, you'll know that uh, you probably used these as well before. Um, but I've used these and they're great. It says actually on it, um, it says do not wring, rinse thoroughly and, and air dry or, dis or dispose of after use. Well, do you know, I'm, th I'm trying to think, was it these ones? I'm sure it is. I I'm sure I've washed these in my machine or in a light wash and they've came up fine. I think it's these ones. Is, it, is that the other ones? You know, I've got another cloth like on a roll, like a J cloth. I don't know if it was them. I can't remember now. When I come to think of it, I can't remember if it was these or not. But it says don't ring. But I mean, I've wrung them out and things like that. I mean, they're fine. But um, each to their own, as I say. These were, well, there's a seven pack in name. And these were uh, 90 pence for those. That's not bad. Now, I bought these as well. I've not had these for a long time. I used to, I remember having these years and years ago, but they were, they didn't come in a, a box like this. They came in, if anybody will remember these as well, they came in a long box and I uh, can't remember, it was just, can't remember who made them, but these are Rye Vita and these are the original cracker bread. This, I've not had these for years. I used to love these with a bit of cream cheese, um, tomato and cucumber. Oh. Fantastic. They're still the same, actually. The bottle, I'll just open and I'll show you them. They're still exactly the same. Look, they've not changed. Just, I think, a bigger packet you used to get, if I remember right. Not had them for a while either, as I said. I'm going back in, in my life to things that I bought years ago. And these are only 20 calories a slice. Can you go wrong? Can you go wrong with them? Um, let me see where I am now. Um... Oh yeah, uh, I've got some of this. I usually use the pink one, but uh, I've been buying this as I see it because I'm thinking it's just maybe about the same. It just all depends, probably the different scents or things that's in it. It's soap free, gently cleanse and freshens your intimate skin. Um, gynecologist and dermatolo dermatologist tested. So it's a, just the Femme Fresh. I always buy this. I've been using this for years as well. 
This is just a small one. You can get bigger ones. I know it's in the pinker colour. No, in fact, I'm actually using one just now and it's a bigger one. This one, the white one, I've, in fact, I've just about finished it, but it's not, it's actually got, I think, a plain white um, body on it, not the clear one. Um, but this will just be about the same. And that was 120 for that. So there you go. And I wanted some of this, which I go through quite a lot, because you know if you're if you're doing any baking or, um, uh, you know, you just want to line something, um, like obviously for cooking and things like that, it's handy. So I just got this, it's some baking parchment paper, or as I used to call it years ago, greaseproof paper. Um, that was a pound for that. So that should be fine and handy for what it's useful for. Um, it's microwave safe, freezer safe, oven safe and food safe. So there you go, for lining tins, biscuits, perfect for cakes, biscuits and bread and lining tins and more. So that was, did I say that? That was a pound for that. So that's not too bad. Uh, oh, I got some of this as well. Oh gosh, where is this? Um, everything is in here, which I can't find. Oh, here we are. I got a jar of the old Lotus Biscoff spread. This is great when you're making, um, you know, like your cakes or putting it up. I've actually had some, I finished, no, sorry, I've not finished it. I've got still got some left, just a little drop. I had made some um, ready bread this morning, you know, like porridge. And I put a dollop of this on it and just gives you that wee sweetness about it. This was £2 for that. That's a 400 gram um, jar. There you go. That's, uh, what did I say? £2. Yeah, £2. Um, and the next one is, I've got some of this. This is really handy. I use a lot of this, especially in the winter time. You know, you get like, save your lips from getting chapped and that. I use it in the summer as well, because it's, see, I use it like a, like, you know, like obviously in the sun, when the sun's there and you're like, you know, your face might get a bit red or burned or that. You don't, can't forget your lips and that as well. So I always use this. I've got this a lot, cocoa butter. I've got the different kinds as well. I've got a rose one and there was a pink one. I can't remember what that one was. And then you get the original. I think, I can't remember the the um, the actual, um, I don't know if I say flavours. Is that right? Because it's going to your lips. Yeah, I suppose it would be. Soothes dry lips anyway. But I always use this. It's great for in the winter time. Um, that was... 80 pence for that. You can't go wrong with that. And that wee tin lasts forever. I wouldn't say lasts forever, but you know what I mean. It lasts a long time. I got these as well. Um, I've not tried these before. This is new. This is actually quite a heavy box. These are, I've, I've tried the, is it Goulon? Is that what you call it? Goulon. Oh, sorry. It's like Goulon. I've tried um, the other biscuits now before, like sugar-free biscuits. I don't think, these that don't say they're sugar free, um, it says these are crispy tea biscuits sprinkled with sugar, great cinnamon taste. Um, I'm trying to see if it says what calorie, oh gosh the writing, there's lots, look at the writing on this, I'll never see that. Um, I don't know, oh, wait a minute, is this here? I'll know when I put this into my Nutra, Nutra check up maybe oh wait a minute see if I can do that now and I'll just see how many if it tells me how many calories is in it oops um that's 100 grams 463 calories I'm not going to have four I'm not going to have um 100 grams of it so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to actually weigh if I bring out a biscuit I'm going to have to weigh it and put the specific weight in as it's asking. So we'll just see how we get on with these. I've never seen these ones before. If anybody's had these before, can they let me know what they're like? Um, just comment below and let me know if you've had them. These were, uh, it says it's a 10 pack, Goulon Cinnamon Crisps 10 pack. I'm just going to open them. I just want to see them being nosy. Oh, I think it's, Oh, they're like that. I thought they were bigger than that. Oh, they're like that. Look. Oh, oh, they'll be fine, I think. They didn't actually look like that, like on the front, do they? I, I expect them to look like 
sort of like a bit of toast or something, like toasty type like that. Still, they might be okay. We'll see how we get on with them. These were, did I say that as well? They were a pound for that. And there's quite a lot in there for a pound. Uh, I needed some of this as well, if I can find it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, foot cream. This is menthol and peppermint. I've had this before. I think I've had it from the online shop that you, you saw previously, but I didn't buy it then. But I've, I've got still got one that I'm using. It's really, really nice. And you get that minty... Oops. Can I get the, that minty... Um, smell and it's it's nice it really is i've had this loads of times it's um intensive foot cream to nourish and soften hard skin helps to restore moisture levels while hydrating dry skin so there you go that's that one and that was a pound for that i think it was a pound before as well uh oh some of this as well i'm always, I'm, I'm always using this because I make a lot of stir fries. So this is Blue Dragon Light Soy Sauce. So I was needing some and I saw it, so I thought, hmm, just going to get it. And it's a plastic bottle as well, so that's good. Uh, that was a pound for that. That's uh, 150 mils. That's a pound. Uh, oh, I've got these as well. Goodness knows how I'll get on with these. But I'm always willing to try anything me. Um, these are Pretty Smooth Eyebrow Shapers. Now, because I've, I've got sort of blonde eyesha um, eyeshadow, blonde um, eyebrows, like fair, and I have to sort of pencil them in a little bit. Uh, so these are 28 strips, quick and easy. Um, perfect eyebrows without tweezing. So I can't, the, the writing is so small on there, look. Thoroughly, I'll try and see if I can read it. It says... Thoroughly wash face with soap and water and ensure skin around eyebrows is free from makeup or creams. Ensure the, ensure the skin is completely dry before use. Brush the eyebrow. What is that? Brush the eyebrow into the wand with the dry paper and open the eyebrow shaper and peel off the plastic liner. Apply the eyebrow paper to the required area, smoothing out any, what is that? Bubbles. With the index and third finger, pull the skin taut and peel the wax strip off. Oh, I suppose it's for like shaping, oh, right enough, yeah. It's for shaping them. Yeah, I just hope it doesn't all come off. Because I've, I've, my eyebrows are really, I've never ever got my eyebrows done. I've never had tweezers on them or nothing. And sometimes they get like like loose like hairs on them, and I try to like cut them off a little bit, and I'm always worried in case I make like a mess in my eyebrows. So that's why I got these just to see if they can help me bring them into some kind of shape. That was difficult trying to read that small print. Look, too small, too small. I need a better light. Um, these were. Uh, these were a pound, 28 strips. Perfect eyebrows without the tweezing. We'll see how we get on with these. Probably have no eyebrows left. Who knows? <laughs> but I'm game to try anything once, me. Uh, oh, I've got some of this as well. Where is that? Um, I'm always using this because if I've got some things to, to parcel up, or do you know if, you, if, you've, if you've bought something online and it's got to go back and you've got to parcel it up yourself you've got to print out the form maybe online or whatever and you've got to parcel it up and you say to yourself i've not got any brown tape and you try to use sellotape and you're going through a mountain of sellotape to try and get this parcel so i've never got any brown tape so i can never I, in fact i did buy some once before and i thought i'll keep that handy for when i need to, to parcel up a parcel back up do you think I could find it? Couldn't. I still can't find it. Still can't find it to this day. So I got this. So I'll have to put this. I'll have to put this into my diary where I've put it, or write it on a notepad, a post-it pad, and put it on my fridge or something. So I'll remember when I'm looking for it. That's that one. It's forty-eight millimeters by, or for, is that right? By fifty meters, I think it is. 
I'm never good with these. I'm old school. I'm inches and, and things like that. Uh, that was at £1.20 for that. So we'll see how we get on with that. Uh, I got some of this as well, if I can find it. Um, I always like this, because in the winter time when I get a cold, um, sometimes, I'll tell you what I use it for, I sometimes rub a little bit on my chest, like that, but if I got some tissues, because sometimes you don't get that, um, even if you buy the balm tissues or the mental tissues, you still don't get that good feel of it. So what I do with this is, the smell of that is get a little bit get a tissue if you've got the cold put it into it blow away and blow your nose or put it in your tissue breathe in a little bit and you can get and it works a treat works for me anyway oh sorry i never showed you that actually there you go vapor rub it's not the vix one it's just their own one i don't know what that says it's bell's bell's health care and that was a pound for that have you ever, has anybody, talking about this and Vicks, has anybody ever seen the Vicks candles? You can buy a little candle, it's a small one. I had, well, I've bought a couple of them, but I don't know if you can still get them because I haven't seen them for a while. And they're supposed to let off the vapour, you know, if you've got a cold, you can, obviously if you're lying in your bed and you're all snuggled up and that, and you've got this candle lit, and it's supposed to like bring the vapour into the room so you can, it helps you breathe easily. I think these were a pound as well. But I've never seen them for a while. Maybe they've done away with them. I don't know. Now, this is really good. Cheese sauce granules. Golden fry. Now, this is great for, like, pasta. And it's great for, like, it's the granules. So, I'll tell you what this is good for as well. If you're making anything, like, um, homemade stuff, um, and you know you need, um, like, to coat it in something, well, this is actually a sauce, but you just coat it a little bit. You don't need a lot, but you can coat it in it, and it, and it works a treat. And it's but it's great for a lot of things. I use it for that for coating. It's perfect for lasagna, cauliflower, cheese, and pasta. And that was a pound for that as well. I've I've used um I've had the pepper. In fact, I still have some. I've got the peppercorn sauce. I've used the uh, the beef granules. You get chicken granules. You get onion granules and you get a curry sauce one all from here. I don't know if you... Oh, parsley. Did I say parsley? I can't remember. You get that as well. I've had them all. And they're really, really good. Pound. Can't go wrong with that. I got some of this as well. I always use a lot of this because it uh, soothes, softens and moisture skin. Now, I've had the XBC cream, which is Expel Body Care Cream. I've had the other one, um, it's just an ordinary one. I've never had this one, which is aloe vera cream. So when I saw it, I thought I'm going to have to get this one and try it. And it's great. Um, I use it all the time, like dry elbows. You know, you get dry skin in your elbows, maybe your knees. Um, or here, sometimes I, I always seem to get a bit of dry skin here. Just in this bit, always. And it's great for that. Um it's, it's been specially formulated to help soothe and moisture dry, dry, irritated skin, helping to leave it feeling soft and hydrated. And it says, apply generously and massage into the skin after a bath or shower or when required. I mean, you could use that on your skin at any time. Because I have, and it's not greasy. I can't, oh, just about put that in my lips. <laughs> mm, you can get a different smell because the other one is just a, an ordinary one. But you can buy this in home bargains. I think you can buy it in um, B&M. In fact, I've seen this in lots. Not this one, though. The other one that I've been using, the ordinary one. I've seen that in lots of shops. Uh, that was a pound for that. It used to be like 99 pence, but it's a pound. But one pence on that. And look at the size of the tub. And that's 500 mils. Now, I use this because it's a lot cheaper than the... You know, the other creams that you get for dry skin and it lasts forever. Big tub of it. Now, I also got myself a candle. Please don't, don't. I can hear you shouting, candles? What is she wanting more candles for? But I can never resist a candle. Now I can find it. But I actually thought this was a bigger candle. I thought it was bigger uh, in size. But this is the size. It's a bit smaller. It was. It's mimosa and blossom. 
relax, unwind and revitalize. Now I like these kind of candles because if you're in your room, I always like this because if you've ever seen one of my, my videos before, I've got all these, you know the face mask things you get in, got, you buy, like from Pound, eh, not Poundland, um, from Home Bargains, and you get them, and you get um, the foot things, and you get the hand things, and you get all different kinds of ones. I like to have a pamper day. I've had, I think I've done something like that on here before, but I don't think I've shown you, I've not, I don't think I've done like a right proper pamper day. I'll maybe do that in another, another video. But you've got the, I've got an Alexa in my room, and you just put on some really zen kind of music, spa music, put your mask thing on and your eye thing or your, even your eye mask or put cucumber slices on your eyes, light this candle, close your eyes and just lie back for about 20 minutes and it's bliss. Now, as I said, this is Mimosa and a Blossom and it's a little, it's smaller. Mmm, it's nice though. Got the cork top. That was... Five pounds for that because as I said I thought it was a bigger one but it's not so it only burns if you're going to keep it burning it only burns for 12 hours so we'll burn that when we're having another pamper day I guess um oh yeah I got this as well um I done last year I done a pumpkin I carved a pumpkin but I didn't do it very well I just done it as best I could with a knife and that um so what I'm going to do, so what I'm going to do, what I bought this year to try is a pumpkin carving kit. So got that to try, and that was one pound twenty. So we'll see how we get on with that. I don't know if that is. It says it's three pieces. This product is not a toy and is for adult use only. So. That'll be for scooping it out, that'll be for shaping it lightly, and that'll be for probably doing the other bits of shaping. I don't know. We'll see how we get on with it. I, don't, I think this probably will be sharp, so need to be careful with that. Um, oh yeah, I got some of these. I like these. I, actually, I knew that, I thought, I, well, when I looked at the, the packet... I didn't check to see if there were individual packs, but some sometimes you can buy them individually, but these are not, so I'll need to be very careful when I open these because you get a taste for them, and that's it. Who doesn't like Monster Munch for roast beef? Eh? A pound for that packet. They, oh, they, I love these. I absolutely love these, and that's what I'm scared of opening this packet in case I just eat the whole lot, but I'm going to have to limit myself. I'm going to have to be good. These were a pound, is it? Yeah, sorry, I forgot to show, tell you that, that they were a pound. I'm too busy thinking about the crisps. Did you hear my voice going sort of like, sort of away there thinking, oh, if I open that packet crisps, Joss, you're going to eat the whole lot, aren't you? I'll have to be careful. Uh, I got some, oh yeah, I got some more of this, but this is okay to keep for next year. Um, because it's well in date. Um, it's still warm enough to have one though. Um, best before, what is that? Best before the 29th of the 10th, 2023. Lots of time. This is your Mokate Gold Ice Coffee Mocha. I've got the ice coffee, but I've not got the mocha. Unless, you know, I bought one before and I don't know if it's mocha or is it just the ordinary one? I bought it that long ago and I've not used it probably got two packs of these still it won't go wrong there's eight in that packet eight just add your milk and add your ice and they're really really nice actually i like them and the this was a pound i mean a pound for eight iced coffees where would you get that well obviously you've got to buy your milk and and that as well and add that in but it's still cheaper isn't it but you can always treat your an itchy back oh you, you can always um treat yourself to the real one but if you well the type well look at money just now it's getting tight isn't it really i mean this is why i buy all these kind of things from these kind of places you can't you, you really can't um shop like do your usual shop now in places um because it's too dear i mean i i use um cravendale milk 
I always buy two cartons of it. Uh, and before, um, I think, was it this year? The beginning of this year, I think it was two for three pounds I got. Now it's two for four pounds. And sometimes if you're buying them individually and they're not got like them like together too far, it's about, is it two pounds something for it? I mean, it's still dearer than a lot of the other milk that you can buy, but um, it lasts longer, you know. So, um, but I always, I always try to use that milk, but that's one that I've noticed has really went up in price. But there are a lot of things that have went up in price as well. And you've got, I mean, like buying, this as I said, for instance, this is a pound. You could probably, I mean, you could probably get Bisto as well for cheaper, but certain places you'll get, you'll pay over a pound for it, I'm sure. You just have to be careful of what you're buying. And be pay to shop around, as they say. Uh, what else did I buy? Oh yeah, I bought this. Talking about milk. Now, sometimes, like you know, when you're having your milk and that, and you, maybe you just think to yourself, "I'm running short of milk." But you can I don't think you can put this in tea. I mean, it just says it, but well, it doesn't say it should say. It just says it's. A, I'll show you what it is first. It's a coffee. Coffee whitener. Now, I've had one before, but I've had, um, is it the Marvel one or something? It was it was a low one, a low and fat one. I mean, this is probably no low and fat. But I mean, it's just a little drop. I mean, if you're just having your coffees, I mean, you have to economise and you have to, you have to think what's best and what's best to use in these days, especially like, I mean, do you know what this is handy for? When I use when I was using the Marvel one, it's handy for the winter time when uh, you can't really rush out and get a lot of milk. But what I do in the winter time is I buy my milk, but I also buy the cartons of long life milk. I buy maybe two cut two packs of them, which you get about eight in it, and you get about, I think some do is it two? Sometimes I buy one or two because I don't drink a lot of milk, but it's handy for cereals and that as well. But if it's really quite, I mean, cause, because I live in Scotland and we get so much snow and um, and it gets really icy and you're thinking, and it lasts for days and you're thinking, I'm never going to walk up there and, um, you know, I'll be falling and everything. So I always try and be prepared like for the winter time because we've had, look at the bad winters we have had in the past. So I think it's always better to be prepared so this is why I buy things like this and I buy the, the long life milk because if you run out of milk and you're saying to yourself oh, got all that way to trudge up to the little shop up the road oh but I've got the carton of milk that'll do use use these or use this you just got to look after yourself as I say do what you want when you want how you want live life the way you want and if it, if it suits you then all the better I always say I mean, people will say, oh, you buy this and it's too dear. You buy this, it's all fat, you, whatever. But if you're thinking of yourself, well, that anyway, I forgot to tell you the price for that. That was a pound. That was a pound. Look at this, how much is in it. 400 grams. I don't know how, um, two teaspoons of this. So, I mean, that's going to be good. Two, tea, that, two teaspoons. I don't know if you can put this in tea. I've never, I've never ever actually tried it in tea. Just in coffee. It just says use in place of milk or cream to complement your everyday coffee. If anybody's ever used I'm asking all these questions. I'll never get an answer, but I'll ask them. If anybody's ever used this in tea, please let me know. Comment below. Uh, the other thing I got was I got two of these. Because I like my nice cafe coffee. I got two of these. These are 200 grams each two and I got these two of them for six pounds seventy so I don't know I'm not too sure whether that's dear or not because I've not actually bought nice coffee for a, a few months so I bought two of these there's yeah 200 grams in each and it's actually it's a stronger coffee it's not like the other one just the ordinary one I've had this before I think I bought this from Poundland as well not Poundland Pound Shop online uh, Nest Cafe Original, it says extra 40. It's actually a strong, it's 100% coffee. So it's actually a stronger coffee than the other ones. But I always use Nest Cafe, um, sorry, not Nest Cafe. I use decaf. But sometimes you do like that coffee, the ordinary cup. Plus, 
a lot of people like come in to visit me don't like net, don't like decaf, so I have to have um, the real coffee for them. Um, that was six pounds seventy, and I've got this. Uh, I've got the right one. Uh, yep, yeah. this is Lenore in Wash Scent Boosters Gold Orchid. Got these ones because the last lot are just about finished. I think they're lavender. I think it is or something. The last lot. These were. Three pounds for that. I think I've had something like this before. Gold orchid. I'm sure I've had this scent. We're coming to the end of it. As I said, I didn't. It wasn't a great big haul, and I got this. It's Fabulosa Laundry Cleanser Electrify, and you put that in your fabric conditioner drawer. I've had this before. Don't know if I've had this one. That's nice. Mm, and you can really smell that in the, in the stuff. I use it actually for um, my toilet uh, set and sometimes the towels, hand towels. Up to 20 washes, eliminates odour and it's... I think, is that the... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, 99% vi kills the viruses and bacteria. Um, add six six capfuls into the fabric softener drawer of your washing machine. Ideal for towels, children's clothes, underwear, bedding, blankets, dishcloths, pet bedding, and more. I've had this before, so I know what I'm getting myself into. <laughs> so that's the haul for today, guys. So I hope you've liked it, and uh, please uh, comment below anything like anything that I've asked you if you can answer the questions comment below um so as I said if you've liked this haul and you've liked the content in it don't forget to hit the subscribe button give me the thumbs up um and I'll see you in the next one so you take care of yourself stay safe and I'll speak to you soon take care bye bye